Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're in the midst of our boy band bash celebration this week, where I'm just dedicating the whole week to reacting to boy bands, be they boy bands that I've already been familiarized with, new boy bands that I'm being introduced to, people that I've reacted to as solo artists who happen to have been part of boy bands at one point in time, whatever the case may be. And we're going all over the world. Thai boy bands, Filipino boy bands, Korean boy bands, and in this particular video, I guess we're going over to Spain, Spanish boy bands. Um, this was sent to me by one of my newest patrons, um, Charlie Ryder, and he asked me to react to the band Orin featuring Anastasia singing the song Who's Loving You. Now, I'm not familiar with Orin, but I love Anastasia's voice. I, ugh, like, I don't remember Black when I first heard her. I feel like I was a kid or something. No, I was definitely a kid, because I remember it was, I think, either the first or second Disney Mania um, CD that came out back when, you know, pop artists were covering Disney songs and whatnot. And I think she did, um, no, not when, when You Wish Upon a Star. Um, something from Cinderella, I think. Uh, someday My Prince Will Come. Yes. And I just remember, she, just think she had this interesting tone to her voice. And as I've gotten older and my musical tastes have developed more and more, um, her, the tone of her voice is just something that I really, really enjoy. I haven't explored a lot of her songbook, which is a shame, and I probably should fix that. Um, but yes, always love the tone of her voice. So if she's collaborating with someone, or I should say someone's, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Um, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how many members are in this boy band or anything like that. But we're just going to dive in and we're going to learn today. Normally when I've been doing this week, um, when I've introduced to a new boy band, I've done like a... First, I would react to a helpful guide or unhelpful guide to this boy band so I could get to know the boy band a little bit better and then react to the music. I couldn't find one for Orin. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not typing in the right stuff and whatnot. Or maybe there isn't one. If you guys know of one, please let me know. Put it down in the comments so I can, if not react to it, just watch it so, again, I can learn more about the boy, the band. Um, but if there's not one, I guess there's not one. But either way, we're just going to dive on into this song and see what it's all about. Okay, Daddy. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Okay, you're cute too. Look like you're 12, but you're cute. Okay, I'm loving the hats. Work, Mama. Why do I know you? I know him. You look familiar too, but... Okay. I live for her voice. Turn up this volume. Ooh, this is catchy. Mm, I, mm. I love that musically. Come on, product placement. <laughs> he looks very familiar, and I don't know why. Slow. Mm, Daddy, Christ Jesus. Mm. I recognize why I know him. This is so catchy. I'm assuming Coke had some partnership in this music video or song. Mm, 
Come on, drums. Come on, Anastasia, give me something. There we go. Houston. Hey! Hey! She's gorgeous. Yes. Okay, okay. I love this song. I love this song. I love this song. And this seems to be a running trend with these boy band reactions this week where I react to something, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this, and I immediately hop on iTunes to see if it's available. Um, Aaron Blues. Loving you. And it is and purchase. Oop, there's my face. Cool. I applied. I I'm feeling this song. It's I mean I didn't have any expectations coming into it because I didn't know anything about the band. But as the video went on, like one person specifically, I know who he is. I recognize him. There's an, a second one who looks somewhat familiar and I don't know why, but the one with the eyes, like these piercing blue eyes. And he, I think he was the second person who had like a shadow or a little bit of stubble on his face and whatnot. Blas Canto, I mean, I just Googled the band and whatnot. That was a name that sounded familiar, but he sang the Spanish version of Dare You to Love with Kelly Clarkson back back last year so that's where i was first introduced to him and his voice and his beautiful eyes and just his delicious and just deliciousness in general i'm probably sure back then when i reacted i probably looked him up and saw he may have been part of a boy band or something but never followed up anymore so i'm so glad so so glad that um charlie recommended this to me because the song is so catchy so infectious i mean hell by the time the second the second chorus came around, I was singing along to it. Like, it, it's so catchy. But not in, like, a super cheesy, you know, kind of way, like an earworm, that it's like, oh my god, will you get out of my head? It's just very, very easy to catch, very radio-friendly. Super easy to catch on to. And I love that, musically, it had a little bit more grit to it than I would expect from, like, the normal boy band. Like, it wasn't your normal boy band pop kind of stuff, which there's nothing wrong with that. Heaven knows I love my pop boy bands, y'all. Backstreet Boys is my heart. That's what I grew up with. Team Backstreet till I die. Um, but I love that it had a little bit more grit and rock musically to it. A lot, a lot of um, guitars and drums incorporated there. And yeah, the only thing that I wanted more of, or that I would not really change, but yeah, I'd want more of, is I want, I want some more harmonies. Like, I feel like the perfect place for a really great harmonic moment would have been there, I think, after the bridge. Before we went to the last set of the courses, um, all of, or the majority of the instruments, you know, faded out, and I think it was just maybe some percussion in the background, and it was, but it was primarily just them singing, who is loving you like I used, whatever the melody line is. And it was just all of them singing, but they were like singing in unison, and I'm like, this would be a perfect place to just split off into a, I mean, at least a two-part harmony, but since there's six people there, you could have easily split into a three or four-part harmony or six-part harmony, but I won't get greedy. It easily could have been like a three-part harmony between the six of them, and they just, like, I just, I wanted that little addition. That's the only thing that I would add, only thing that I would change about this. Other than that, I love the song. Um, I mean, even in spite of that, I still love the song. Um, but yeah, Anastasia didn't, she didn't disappoint me there towards the end. Like I was hoping that she was going to unleash the beast a little bit and give me a little something because I know she's got this just big belty mm, and I love the brashness to her voice and this, I love her vibrato and there's just, just the tone of her voice. It's got this very 
soulful kind of quality to it and I live for it. Like it reminds me sort of Joss Stone in a in a sense. I'm more familiar with Joss Stone's work, which is why I compare her, although I know Anastasia has been out a lo lot longer than Joss Stone. Um, I'm just more familiar with Joss Stone's work. And actually, I think they both sang the same song. They both, I think Anastasia sang it first with Ben's brother, I think the band is called, um, Stalemate, and then Joss covered it on one of her albums also with Ben's brother. So, again, parallels that I'm seeing there. Just similar kind of qualities. The tone's not exactly the same, um, and the, there's just similarities in the way that they sing and similarities in the way that they like form certain vowel sounds and there's a wideness to like I just I dig it I dig it I dig it I dig it so I love the sound of her voice and I was hoping that she was gonna you know unleash and get a little bit belty there towards the end and she did I feel like she she was holding back a little bit she could have unleashed it a little bit more because that from things I've heard she she could have unleashed a little bit more but it was still cute I still thoroughly enjoyed this and as y'all saw, it's now part of my iTunes collection, so I'll add that to my work playlist. And yeah, just standing up time. So thank you, Charlie. Thank you for um, revitalizing my love on Anastasia, because I haven't thought about her in a hot minute. And for reintroducing me to Blas Canto and his beautiful eyes, and then the rest of his band with Daddy and his beard, and two little boys over there in the corner with their cute hats, and Mr. Black Hair, who looks familiar, and I just, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I guess I'll find out eventually. They'll, they'll, they'll be on the channel again at some point. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you would like to support the channel in other ways, like Charlie, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.